Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Antsig how-to. Today, we'll be showing you how to wire a CAT6 RJ45 8P8C Ethernet jack. Here are the tools you'll need. A CAT6 RJ45 Ethernet jack, a suitable wall plate, a CAT6 cable, a cable stripping tool, a punch down tool, pliers or scissors, and a network tester. If you're using a CAT5E, it is similar. However, CAT6 rated RJ45 Ethernet jacks must be used with a CAT6 cable to use the full 10 gigabit bandwidth capabilities. Now, we'll get into setting it up. Once completed, it should look like this. Firstly, place the cable stripper clamp approximately 25 millimeters down the PVC. Adjust the blade length so it is covering the PVC and not scraping any wires. Carefully spin, remove the clamp, and pull up the PVC covering to expose the inner wires. Now, we will need to separate the wires from the cross web plastic. This divider needs to be cut off. Untwist only as much wire as is required for the RJ45 jack. Here is the back view of a typical CAT6 RJ45 jack. As you can see, it is colour coded to match the wire colours. This particular arrangement may vary for other manufacturers, but they follow the same colour scheme. There are two types of wiring standards labelled A and B as shown. A and B offer the same electrical properties and either standard can be used. For a straight through Ethernet connection, the RJ45 jacks must be terminated with the same standard. It does not matter which one you choose as long as you follow the same standard at both ends. In this video, I will wire all my jacks and plugs per the B standard, as denoted by the B color band. First, remove the cap. You may need to use a pry tool. We will need to match the colored wires to its corresponding color on the jack. A solid box indicates that you need to match it with a solid colored wire. A box with a striped color and white indicates that you need to match it with the striped wire of that color. We will need to match the colored wires to its corresponding color on the jack. Simply seat each of these corresponding wires into the slots. To secure this in place, we will need a punch down tool. These terminals are using the universal KATT industry standard style. So both a Crone or a 110 type punch down tool will work. First, we will use the 110 tool. Place this end of the tool in the slot and press down firmly until the wire is locked into place. Now cut any excess wire with wire cutters on the other end so it sits almost flush with the jack. Now with the Crone tool, place the tool facing this way and press down firmly until the wire is cut and firmly held in place. Now clamp on the plastic cap and cover. Repeat this process for the other end of the cable. In order to know that the ethernet jack is working properly, we'll need to test it using the network tester like this one. Plug an ethernet cable into both sides of the jack and then into two of the ports in the tester. Turn the tester switch on and we should see it light up. The tester will filter through each wire. If the illuminated light corresponds to the light adjacent like this for each wire, then we know that the jacks are correctly wired. If this is not the case, then you'll have to rewire either the left or right side depending on which one isn't working correctly. To plug it into the wall plate, push the insert into the back until it clicks in. It can be installed in any orientation, however, Make sure the gold pins are on the top side when installing into the wall, so dust does not interfere with the connection. For any further questions or assistance, visit our website or refer to the contact numbers at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.